All mine. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Such as? Was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days, I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the Wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. 
was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the super mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Docks inside the lodge. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. See you. human one was enough bother someone else I don't want anything to do with you humans are always staring at things we night can don't like being stared at is is uncomfortable ah, humans Ugh. Need to tighten up my vices again. I assume this is about something important? You're interrupting my research. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. 
Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Bother someone else! I don't want anything to do with you! Finally! Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Whoever they are, they want us dead or gone. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Thanks. Our business is with the muties, not you. Whoa, whoa. Thought you looked familiar. I'm just doing a job, nothing more. Politics aren't my thing, so if you say go, we'll go. No hard feelings. Something on your mind? Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. See you. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but... Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor... 700 caps sounds about right. Raise like family. And I've got other dogs to take care of. He and I had joined up with the same caravan. Add in a lot of whiskey and, huh, well, let's just say we got to know each other. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. Again, you interrupt me. Why? 
Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Have a seat. This will take a while. Again, you interrupt me. Why? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. The Stealth Field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Mr. Betsy, but Mr. Benny met a nasty end. I hope you've realized, Bumpkin, that crime doesn't pay. Ooh, those Night Stalkers, always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind.
Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II's never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll be waiting. Grandma's so worried about her little baby. It's getting dangerous out there in the wasteland. Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Very well. Please, stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is like stable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. It must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh oh My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. D nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... 
That's brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Oh, look at me. Hello again, dear. That'd be lovely, dearie. 